The, the most important thing is to ensure that we've got um, a suitable roof for the panels, for mm -hmm. the collectors. Um, ideally south facing, um, we can work anywhere south east to south west, or even if you have an east or west roof, you have a choice. You can either put an east west split system, so a panel on each side of the roof, and then a special controller and pump station so it only pumps through the, the panel that's hot. Um, or you can actually uh, put additional panels on one side of the roof to make up for the losses, but, it, but it's always more expensive than doing it on a south-facing roof. Um, the other important thing is obviously making sure that the roof is actually suitable and, and strong enough to actually take the weight of the collector. Um, we then have to look at how we're going to get the pipe work from the roof down to wherever the, the storage tank is going to be. Um, a house, um, a solar cylinder is always a lot larger than a normal cylinder. So we have to make sure we've got adequate space for putting in a larger cylinder to, to cope with the extra storage that, that's necessary. Um, if there is a combi boiler in the house, then we always have to make sure that there's actually physically space for putting in a cylinder and ensuring that that space is suitable. A lot of people ask us to put cylinders in lofts. You've got to be very careful, one, to ensure that the loft is actually strong enough to take the weight of the cylinder, but two, also that you've got the height to try to get it up there. Um, then you also have to check that the, yes, the, the house is actually suitable for solar and, and the uh, occupants are actually going to be using hot water. If they have um, electric showers throughout mm -hmm. the, the house, then electric showers only take a cold input and then use electricity to heat it up, so it has no effect on electric showers. Um, quite often you find if a house has electric showers and dishwashers and stuff, then you have a very, very low hot water consumption. So it's quite, quite often not suitable for that type of house. Um, also, you've got to be very careful if you're looking at holiday homes or homes where there's, there's big gaps when there's people not there mm. because you can't turn the solar system off. If we're ever looking at a property where they're, they're people go on and say, you know, are, are absent more than the average household, then we look at actually building in um, heat dumps. So, so when the, the, the collectors get hot and the tank's up to temperature, we can actually divert the heat away from the collector so it doesn't sort of overheat any of the components. Mm -hmm. So it mainly comes down to hot water usage. If, if there's no hot water usage, there's no point in generating it.